So my name is Tomáš Weindreb. And my name is Peter Kazda. We are both directors and co-producers and screenwriters of film Ja Olga Hepnerová. We are very glad for invitation to Panorama, especially for the opening. It's a big honor for us. And our film is about a very young girl from the Prague. He has, he has a problem with the with the feelings and with the with the inner inner space and he tried to he tried to find something inside outside of the society but it was impossible for her and this tragedy goes to the one of the biggest tragedy in, in Czech and we hope that uh, not only this topic is connected the Czech Republic, but should be some more international one. Your premiere is here, but then you're going to travel the world basically and you're going to screen the movie yes. on all continents, more or less. Okay, so here it's going to be the world premiere. Yes, of course. Okay. Today. Okay, it's opening the panorama tonight, right? Yes. Okay. How did you actually get to start working on this movie? Like, what was the background? You did a documentary on Olga Hepnarova, right? Yeah, but this dog was about uh, during the, our work on this film. So we uh, tried to find the people who was involved with, with this story. And we met some guy who, who lived, who was friend, maybe boyfriend, with, with the Olga. And uh, it was the student film. Uh, about, about his life and it was very interesting because he didn't talk about the Olga and about relationships. He talked uh, mm, he talked only in the in some feelings, not mm -hmm. not the exactly words and some information. And it was it was quite good for us that uh, we met many people who was involved in this story, but uh, many of them was afraid or were afraid to talk about it. Uh, or have uh, some some problems with it, but the feelings from from these people was very important for us to writing the script. But why were they scared to talk about it? Sorry. Why were they scared to talk about it? Why didn't they want? To, didn't they want to talk about her, or didn't they want to talk about the story? It was, it was taboo. I think I think about the about the story because in Czech it's a very tough story. To, 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 to. In it's, st it's still a life story in Czech Republic. Okay. Because it's uh, based on a true story. Yeah. Uh, well, problem. Still, pro still problem. Still problem. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, mm, uh, of course, it's this film is about murder, but we try to explain, not explain, but uh, make make some question. How is it possible that some, some young girl from good family, but with a very cold family? Is, is behaving in this in, in, in this case and uh, made uh, this very cruel thing. But uh, um, this film was making almost. We think that it was very important, but that that the reason is taboo and open this taboo. But you're saying it is still a taboo in the Czech Republic. What what exactly is the taboo that she was so much against society that she killed so many people that it was in connection with a girl that was a lesbian? What exactly is the taboo? Well, she was a mass murderer. It's, it's, it's a most taboo. It's taboo. The, the, uh, the interesting is that the people in Czech are talking about it, but uh, um, talking about a lot. But um, there was also the, the book. Uh, the, the author of this book was Roman Silek, who was, who was a writer of the facts. And uh, we was uh, very we, we contacted him and made together a deal with, with this book to, to, to the script. But uh, your question is about uh, why. Uh, I think it's an half of half that uh, people want to open it. But they are scared, and the, the scared it's it's very normal normal way mm. because uh, mm, the parents or not parents the mm, the families from this from these victims are still alive. You know. mm. Well, for me the question was just mass murder itself doesn't sound to me like a taboo because that is something that that occurs in history or in in other countries that is something you talk about in the news and so i was wondering if that was a special case of taboo because of this person because of her background because of well also the the ideas she had in mind when she for example wrote the goodbye letter and stuff like that 
because to me it was well, I had the feeling that it was not just her doing a mass murder, but that it was also her fighting against the whole society. And that's maybe the, the biggest problem. Yes, that's uh, that's maybe the biggest problem for for the that uh, that she was she was against all all our world, all our people. You know, you talk about it about the lesbian. Of course, it's a very important story in our film, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, it's a problem in Czech. That that she was lesbian, and that was the problem of she was lesbian. You know, of course, in, the, in this in this time it was much more <laughs> difficult to have a laugh in the girl with the girl. Of course, it's the same like in this time. But I think in the Czech we are, uh, <laughs> I think our country it's it's very close to, to some things. But I think to the lesbian or, or the, or the gays it's not so not so big problem, mm -hmm. not so big problem in Czech Republic generally. Well, that was actually something that really surprised me when I watched the movie, how open society back then seemed to be about homosexuality. Because she goes to a bar, she's very open about being lesbian, dancing with a girl, being almost naked on stage, stuff like that. What was the context back then? What was the historical situation? So homosexuality was not forbidden in that time? Was there um, an acceptance in society? Uh, I'm not expert for this question, <laughs> but <coughs> But of course, everyone who was different, in some case, especially in the 70s, in the normalization of communism after the after the 68, after the after the spring, uh, after the spring 68, and after the Russian attack, so uh, the, the the country was going to the normalization, and uh, the people uh, started uh, to close together inner, and not be open, and. Um, you ask if it's a connection to it. I, of course, that, that with Olga, for example, as going on dancing scene with the uh, she's naked and everything, it, it, it happens, you know. Uh, <coughs> and it was forbidden. If if, if it will forbidden to, to 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 be in a relationship between between uh, people with with, with with the same male, uh, uh, the communist party uh, doesn't like it, of course. But I don't think so. It will be so big problem for the society, for the for the people. And it was also not forbidden by law. Uh, I don't think so. in the seventies. I think no. But of course, you have. Um, it was impossible to have uh, someone like in the wedding or something, mm. registration or so on. But if you have some sex with with the, with the people, with the person with, of the same male, I think it wasn't. It wasn't uh, under under law. Okay. Well, talking about Olga and her personality, I wasn't quite sure how to understand her. On the one hand, she she seemed extremely fragile, very vulnerable, but at the same time, I didn't find her very likable because she was so full of anger, so full of hate, and I wondered how how did you get close to this character, and. Was that what you sort of found out on your research, that you had those both parts in her, this vulnerable part and the part full of anger? Hmm. Uh, oh, uh, if I understand you, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's some, we have some information uh, uh, from, the <coughs> from the police documents and court documents, how she behaved and she, how she was. Uh, but uh, if you're asking uh, if it's for for us the important that she was full of of, of the hateness or, or thing, if you be pushing to this topic, is this a question in this way? No, it's not not exactly. The question is rather. <coughs> I had the feeling that it was a very complex character yes. with lots of different aspects yes. and I was wondering how you got to form this character because I guess it was based on some documents mm. by the police or somewhere mm. else. Mm. So was that also what sort of came out of those documents or how did you form the character in the movie? Of course, we have, we have some... Um, because uh, Olga Etnarova is a big topic and uh, we made some film and this film is uh, on the balance of uh, our point of view and the facts and uh, uh, the question is about um, if, 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 if we push the hateness you know uh, I don't think so you know, because uh, uh, the, all, all the, the documents the people 
who met her, uh, our feelings for the for the uh, for the letters, and uh, everything what she did was for us some existential drama, and this existential drama means for us that. Uh, you are going inside, very inside. You have some own um, moral codex to do it something against against the against the society or opposite of the society. And it for us was one of the uh, one of the point of view that uh, we don't we don't care about uh, the people in the story like uh, we uh, ask some questions. Uh, uh, what Olga? will be or not, but we have so many informations that uh, we try to go for, for the feelings, maybe. Oh, because I have a little problem with the with your question, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, I Well, my question is basically, how did you form the character in the movie? Based on what? What, what was... I think we are talking about... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the last three minutes, you know. So yeah, yeah. Nice. On, on, on her life, yeah. yeah. And we know, uh, we know uh, her life, whole, whole life. Sorry. Okay. And, uh, it's a mixture of uh, hate and uh, loneliness, and uh, then we put it together uh, to the whole story. Mm -hmm. So it was basically that what you also got out of the documents, these two sides of her. Uh, okay. Of course, of course. It's, okay. It's, it's a true story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, um, For us, it was very important that we, we would like to be not on her side, okay, only, you know, and and not only above it, you know, it's, it's some 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 balance about the the cult of the of the <coughs> of, <coughs> of the how we how we how we show the story, and um, that's that that was the, the 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 most difficult things in this film because in Czech, of, for example, not only Czech but everywhere. Should some have the problems with it that we we try to excuse her, you know, and for us it was not so question to excuse her, but to try <coughs> to make some questions: how is it possible, and if is it possible today? Why do people excuse her, and how do they do that? Uh, the people think that we could maybe excuse her. You no, know. no, but you, you said that people normally do it, that they... No, 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 oh, sorry. okay, no, then no, I sorry. misunderstood no, you, the, the, sorry. The, the, the people maybe <coughs> will think that we will excuse okay. her. Okay. And, well, you said that it is a taboo topic in, in the Czech Republic. How do you think the audience will react when you show this movie in the Czech Republic? We, we think half and half. Half and half will, will, be, will be open to it and will be very glad, I think. That, that, that the films is uh, um, was shot, but uh, I think some people will be angry that uh, it's not good to open this topic, you know, of course. But why are they angry that this topic will be open, that this person becomes part of the, I don't know, national heritage, of the national memory? Or it's a human being, I think. Mm. It's a human being and the human be and this history of the Czech, you know. But, uh, uh, mm, for us, it's important that this film is uh, based on true story, but uh, it's some, something essential in Czech, important for Czech. But of course, if it will be some some kind of universal topic, it will be great, you know. Mm. So that we are here, and and uh, uh, if if the other people not from the Czech uh, Republic will understand the story, you know, mm -hmm. and the film. Where are the points where you would say that they might not be able to understand it? What what parts of it, or what aspect of the movie? In Czech or, or in Czech? What aspect they will not understand? Uh, they will not understand why we are making this film, because it will be better to make uh, some film about the doctor, who uh, or, or the scientist, you know, not about the character which was bad. Uh, in this case, you know, because she was murdered, but uh, the problem of the of the of the of the making the films, for example, in Czech, that uh, that uh, it's not happy film. It's uh, it's 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 uh, it's very sad. It's it's tragedy for also for us, for the people, and also for the Olga, you know. Mm. <coughs> and uh, of course, there was a death penalty, and we are against the death penalty at all. Mm. Well, she was the last woman that actually 
got killed yeah. by the death yeah. penalty. Is that something that is still somewhere in the history books, some, somewhere in the memory, the national memory, that you, for example, learn in school? About the death penalty? or, or About, about her being the last woman that was... No, no, no. In school, in school not. But uh, many people know about it. But uh, it's a big discussion. I don't know if it will be... Uh, it will be a referendum about about that penalty. Maybe most, the, of, most of people will most say, of yes, people say yes. Say yes. Mm -hmm. so, of course, that's, that's the problem. I don't know how it's in Germany or France, but uh, the people wants wants revenge. Mm -hmm. Well, we already talked about what the audience yeah. might or how the audience might react in the Czech Republic. Tonight, you're going to have the, the premiere here in the festival. What do you think how the audience here will react, or what would you wish for? How the reaction will be? We will we will very glad. It will be open, open open of the of the sadness and the emotions and feelings, what what happens, and <clears throat> of course uh, um, for two days it's also a problem that the that the person did some terrorist attack, but this terrorist attacks it's. Uh, <laughs> it's connected with the with the religion or the politics, and uh, all the Hepnorva didn't in this way, you know. But uh, uh, still, in our <laughs> own society, are uh, many people which has, who has a big problem with inner, and they are not able to to cure. And uh, when when they have full of hateness, and they didn't <laughs> commit suicide, they go against the society. Uh, mm, the, the reaction, we will see. Okay, but you don't have any expectations for tonight, what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> of course, because uh, not many, but some people from abroad, from the Czech Republic, because we have French, French co-producer and uh, mm, the Polish one, but the Eastern one, you know, it's a little bit connected together. Uh, and so we have, we have some feedbacks also. And uh, some feedbacks are very good, some feedbacks are more cold, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, then I wish you a very good premiere tonight and thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.